I'm Astronomous Ray, and I'm a medical assisting student here at Clutsop Community College. I graduated from Astoria High School in 2019, and when I was a senior in high school, I got an opportunity to take a tour here at the college. And I've gained so much from my tour that I decided to put together a video tour for you who may not be able to take one in person due to the pandemic. So, I just wanted to share the opportunities that the college has to offer, such as for me personally, I got to join the Latino Club, the Pi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and I got to be a part of the North Coast Chorale by taking a singing class here at the college. And one of my favorite parts about being at the college is getting to use the Patriot Hall gym, and I signed up for many dance classes there, and those have been really good, and I like hearing the music and being able to meet different people. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video tour. Let's go ahead and say hi to Ben downstairs in the recruitment center. Hola, me llamo Ben Polensky. I am the recruitment coordinator here at Tots of Community College. You are currently in the student services um, suite here, uh, Columbia Hall, room 115. Uh, if you need help um, getting enrolled at the college, I am the guy to come to. Talk to your counselors or give me a call directly right here on campus and I will get you set. Um, also in this office, we have our registrar. Um, she is in charge of all of our transcripts, making sure you're on track for graduation. Her office is right next to mine here in 115C. We also have our vice president of student success. Um, he is in charge of all of us here and takes great care of everybody here at the college. Um, and finally, our director of advising is down the hall as well. So once you become a student here, you'll be assigned an advisor who will keep track of you while you're here, make sure you're taking the right classes and give you guidance along the way. I uh, hope to see you here at Clatsop soon. Hi, my name is Mallory Boulder and I'm the director of student access here at Clatsop Community College. Uh, my main job here is to help students with disabilities and make sure that they get the resources that they need um, so they can access their education and be successful. Um, so if you have any challenges with learning or anything else around that area, um, you can go ahead and give me a call. My number is 503-338-2474. Or if you hop on the website, you can make an appointment with me at any time. Thank you. Hello, my name is McKenna Long and this is Ms. BTC Fixed. Hi, this is the Patsy Community College Bookstore, where you can bring supplies to your classes and some snacks if you need them. Alvin, hi everybody, welcome to Patriot Hall. This is our track for Patriot Hall. If you go around it 16 and 3 quarters times, that's a mile. And that's a big feature that we have here at Patriot Hall. This is our health and physical education wellness building. We have dance studio here, right behind me. Yoga studio. So we'll do dance. There's a, even the Latino club even sponsored Latino dance one year. We'll do yoga, dance fitness, and cardio workouts in there. And this building is a smart building that's run by a computer system. So we have an engineer who uses a computer to set these fans over here going. These big ass fans over here are huge big ass fans. And I like to call them big ass fans because the big ass fan company built them and that's what the name of these fans are. The cardio room now. And so these are our cardio room equipment. We have a few pieces of equipment here that they don't have at most other gyms. This is one of them here. It's called Jacob's Ladder. And it's a great workout if you're gonna be needing to have your uh, heart rate go up fast to get a nice great workout. This is our lateral machine here. This is also a fun machine. Let me show you how this works. We're going to do this here. I, I am also a volleyball, I'm the coordinator of this building, but I'm also a volleyball referee. I like to play volleyball. And this helps, this machine helps you get down and low. So you can get those set those spikes for everybody. And this is a nice machine, this is fun. Also great for cardio and working out and keeping your legs firm. So we have the standard machines here. We have a stair stepper and the bikes. 
and the elliptical machine, and the treadmills, the ones that everyone's familiar with. All of these, you, you get to use this whole building, all of these machines for free when you register for a class at Clatsop Community College. We have two classrooms here in Patriot Hall. This one, um, oftentimes you'll do, you'll do math and statistics in here, humanities, they might do speech in here and English. The second one we have over here is our emergency medical technician room. You can see they've got a skeleton in the back, in the back and they'll do lab work in here. So if you decide to go on and become an EMT, you'll spend a lot of hours in this room. And then when we swing this way, these, this is our free weight area in the back, free weights, and then we have all of our resistant machines here. Uh, once you come here, the monitor can tell you how to use these equipment. We have a front desk monitor, or we, you can take a class with Ollie Baker, who's a professor here, and he has weight training, and, and you can also take HPE 295, which is another class. You can take, like I said before, dance fitness. We have volleyball, we have racket sports, um, we have CrossFit, we have basketball classes, Very a, a, a large selection of physical education classes to take care of. This beautiful locker room. Some of you may know my son, David Berry, who graduated in 2019, and he is going to the University of Oregon uh, last year and again this year. And these lockers and showers that we have here are better than the ones he's using at the University of Oregon. And that's that. This is where you can play basketball, do CrossFit. We play volleyball here. We play. Uh, we have the net set up right now for pickleball. We play badminton here. We also have a tennis, uh, indoor tennis that we can do here. And we have open gyms. We have open gym badminton, open gym racket sports, open gym basketball, and open gym volleyball. And if you come to Class of Community College and take a, a credit course, you can attend the open gyms for free. In fact, you can come here when we're open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday, or Saturday and Sunday from 8 to 5. If you look over here, you can see we have bleachers, and they're stacked against the wall right now. But if you were here right now, we would pull all these bleachers out and you'd be able to sit here and, and uh, speak to Ben Polanski and others who want to tell you about what a great experience you could have at Class Up Community College. Come and see us. We want you here. Okay. Hello. My name is Dan McClure. I'm the library director. I'm sorry for the mask, but we're trying to stay safe. Uh, welcome to our library. I'd like to show you a few of the different things we have available to you in normal times for when we are open again. This counter over here is the service desk. This is where people go to check out materials and ask general questions. There are uh, many things available here, including reserve materials for classes, laptop computers for checkout, and other items that can be checked out. The people who work here are brilliant and can help with all kinds of things. They solve all sorts of problems all the time. Very helpful. Over here is a living room-like area. Right now we're working through a project, so it's a little messy. But this area we commonly refer to as the lounge, and there's different things available here. A couple of stand-up computers that are express stations where you can check email and do whatever you need to do on a computer in five minutes or less. This machine that copies and scans. These three computers are for the general public, but not for students. Then on this side of the room are a bunch of collection materials, including our big collection of popular DVDs. These are um, all kinds of movies, like Hollywood movies, for entertainment, primarily, and also po a popular reading collection. We have a nice collection of magazines over in the corner and also newspapers. People like to be in this room and relax. They're uh, encouraged to just be themselves and um, do whatever they want to do. They can eat in this room, they can talk, they can just hang out. So it's a little unusual compared to a lot of libraries. But we do have a big quiet area, which I'll show you. 
study for the library, and we put them on this new shelf. We have all kinds of cool books, and there are a lot of things you wouldn't think that an academic library has. We get graphic novels, we get books on art, uh, books on film, graphic design. Here's this cool book about tiki stuff, you know, Hawaiian culture. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of cool things in here. It's really fun to look at this stuff, and lots of movies. Over here in the quiet area, we also have a big documentary collection. So these are um, movies designed to educate, rather than the other collection of movies that's primarily for entertainment. This quiet zone has desks uh, that are uh, people commonly sit at and, and study. It's usually you know very quiet in here. I wouldn't normally speak so loud in here. And then study carols on the other side of the room. On either side of the room, there's student meeting rooms that can be checked out. Uh, and um, those are fun, nice places for students to be. And I'll show you upstairs, too. So up here, we're in the learning commons. This is the third floor of the library building. And there's several different things that happen here. There's a lot of tutoring, especially writing tutoring happens over here, and the tutors are around every day that the library is, is open on weekdays, and they do a lot of work directly with students. We also arrange subject-based uh, tutoring, so if you needed tutoring like in chemistry or something like that, we can get you with a tutor. It's usually another student, and that's arranged at this desk over here by GAD. Uh, and then we have several other computers up here, some Mac computers, lots of tables and chairs, uh, and lots of tutoring and group study happens up here. Uh, I guess I could show you this meeting room. This is one of the three student meeting rooms. It's a really nice thing that can be checked out. And these are just for students. And they can be checked out in advance for up to three hour blocks. And then not to be missed is the view, it, just an incredible view. You'll never find a view this nice in any other library in America. We just have the best. <laughs> On the other side of the room is a whole computer lab. And there's a whole bunch of computers, and that lab is just for students. Hi, my name is Elaine, and I'll be showing you guys the art room. This is the party room where they do some partying and ceramics. And right here we have the dark room. And right here we have the watercolor room. Okay, this is the sculpture room. And this is the art gallery where they have their art shows. This is an other art room classroom. So this is the computer lab where they work with graphic arts on MacBooks. They have a laminator and a printer and a scanner. Okay, so this is another classroom where they do paintings and drawings. And that's the art center. Hey guys, my name is Otomir and today I'm going to be showing you a taller hall. This is the third floor of Tala Hall. This is where you can find criminal justice classes, speech classes, and writing classes. At the end of each floor, in each side, there are offices as well as bathrooms. Okay, so I'm Amy and I work for the TRIO and the Puerta Student Support Services Program. We are 
we're located in Toller, 312. Um, so I'm going to invite you in and we'll talk a little bit about the room. Okay, so this is the TRIO office. We have a really nice space for students to use. And um, most of these open doors are, are private offices where students can have confidential appointments. We also have this really nice large um, student study space which has computers and um, desks or tables to congregate at. Um, and so we are just here to kind of provide um, support. When we're here in person, we also tend to have food like popcorn and coffee and tea. So we're looking forward to offering that again in the future. Um, and it's meant to just be a kind of a home base. So it's a good place for students to come and check in or just take a break from classes. Um, so we really hope that you come visit us. About 70% of students at Clatsop are eligible for our services. Um, so uh, just come on over to Toller 312 and we'll tell you more about our programs. And now to the second floor. This is the other entrance, and this used to be a cafe. All right. Hi, I'm Pat Keefe. I teach physics and physical science here. And one of the fun things about uh, my classes is that you get to do lots of experiments. So this is kind of set up here. Normally there would be, uh, actually even this term, when this class is in session, there are two students here in class, zooming to two students. And hopefully next fall, all four students will be here doing the experiments. And we do all kinds of experiments with heat and temperature, crystals, uh, and light. And uh, you can just kind of see there's just a whole bunch of stuff for students to actually do experiments. So in my class, I don't uh, tell my students. Uh, uh, in my class, I'm the one who asks the questions and my students answer me. And we get to play with all kinds of fun toys and use computers to do a lot of the drudgery of that. And so uh, just now, some students left. They were working with this fan cart. And they were studying the motion of this fan cart. And it set up. And they used a motion detector with this graph. And they were able to plot the motion of this cart. And so my students can uh, use the computer, the data is here, and they can quickly analyze that data and tell me about how their world works. And here are some lockers that you guys can rent. If you guys have any questions, I'm sure the Welcome Center can help you get set up. That was Teller Hall. Hi, my name is Holly and I am the medical assisting instructor here at Clatsop Community College and so um, this is our classroom. Um, if you're interested in medical assisting, this is Columbia Hall, room 202. And so um, medical assisting, um, if you're interested, is uh, it's a really fun occupation. I tell my students it's not just a job but it's a career. Um, these days and so uh, if you have ever been to the doctor's office before um, the person who greeted you and brought you back into the clinic probably got your weight your height took your vital signs and asked you a bunch of questions here in our area chances are that was probably a medical assistant and chances are they probably graduated from this program and so the medical assisting program is a nine-month certificate program um, so you come in fall, winter, and spring, and at the end of spring term, um, you graduate. Um, so as you look around, um, part of the things that we do in here, um, we do a lot of book learning, we do a lot of um, hands-on kind of learning. So um, and when it's time for us to learn how to draw blood, patients are, uh, the students will actually draw blood um, on me. <laughs> I'm the guinea pig for that. 
Um, but we do all kinds of things. So if we're learning how to do pediatric assessment like we did just a couple weeks ago, um, we actually had pediatric patients in here and we learned how to weigh and measure. So if you are more of a hands-on um, kind of learner, and if you're interested in um, the medical field, this is definitely um, a place for you and a good spot for you. Uh, most of our medical assistants graduate and they start off making around $17 to $18 an hour. And then depending upon who you're working with, you very well could have benefits as well. Um, so if you're interested in the medical assisting program, um, there is a process that has to be done. So you do have to be able to pass a criminal background check and a urine drug screen. And anybody that's interested in enrolling for um, September, which is you know this September, coming up this September, would need to start to come see me the first week of April and we can get that process started. Um, so if you take a look up on the board there, um, fall term, um, students would come in and they would take basically four classes. Um, three of those classes are medical assisting and then you have a writing uh, 121 that you would need to take. Um, winter term, again, um, you have three medical assisting classes and a math class that you would need to take. And then spring term, you would have two medical assisting classes and then you would have the writing 227 and the psych 101. Um, the general education component, so like the writing and the math um, and the uh, psychology, those can be taken at any time. Um, they don't necessarily have to be taken as part of the program. Um, but when you come to see me in April, you have to show me that you are ready for writing 121 and ready for math 63. Um, and if that's the case, we can start that process and get you going if you are um, interested in becoming a medical assistant. Um, it's a good way to kind of get your feet wet, check out the healthcare field, see if it's something you might like. And then I do have a lot of students from here that go on to things like the nursing program, respiratory therapists, physical therapists, um, physician's assistants. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do from here. Um, so if you're interested, come see me. My office is right next door in Columbia 203. Um, you can always find information on the website, including my email address and my telephone number. Um, or if you just happen to be up on campus, you know, one day, put your mask on, come by and see me, and I'd be more than happy to give you some information. Hi, I'm Chris Gustafson with Classic Community College's Historic Preservation Program. I want to share with you an example of one of our Historic Preservation Workshops. And this one in particular is in regards to historic wood window restoration. And here during this session it takes place for over two weekends and we spend the time learning about historic wood windows, how they were made from different times of the era, what type of materials that we use. We also cover, as you can see, how to extract them intact and then Later in the weekend, we'll be removing the glazing putty, we'll be fixing the, the wood parts, we'll be re-roping them, and we're, we'll be showing you skills that you can do this work on your own just to develop your skills and your knowledge and potentially maybe even start your own business. So I welcome you to observe, to watch, to contact the, the preservation program, to maybe even job shadow and see and just see if it's a good fit for you. So I really hope you take the time and the initiative to make it happen. Thank you. All right, so I'm Josh Gifford. This is my first year in this program. And right now we're doing a weekend workshop where we work on wood double hung windows. And so what we've done so far, we have removed windows that have significant rot in them. We reglazed those windows. We painted them, which you can see behind you. Those are painted windows. And so, what I'm doing, and the reason I have this harness on, is I am removing some of these rotted pieces of wood that we have made. I removed this top piece up here, and this third place is going in. So I'm basically harnessed up, sitting inside this open window here, getting that area ready for this next piece. And then after that, we're going to install the rest of the window sill, and we will begin reinstalling these windows. Wood windows here at the Astoria Firehouse. Um, it's really 
little project where um, we pulled them out and we restored them, painting them, we put um, fixing up any damage to wood cells and seeing them back in. Um, I joined the program because of the historic preservation. Um, I like building more inclusive history um, and making sure that everyone's stories are represented in, in historic preservation. And the program has been a cool way to get me into that. Hi, I'm Lucian Frodoff with the Historic Preservation Program at Casa Community College. And we're doing a workshop here at the old fire station in Astoria, restoring the historic wood windows. So you can see the tunes here. Uh, we just started working, so we're going to pull out all the historic windows, uh, restore them, and then put them back in. But it's new. Uh, so we'll be here for two weekends, four days, working on this project. Hola, mi nombre es Andrea González y soy parte del equipo de Vidas en Transiciones Costa en el Colegio Comunitario de Clazo. El programa de Transiciones Costa uh, consiste de dos cursos, Costa 1 y Costa 2. El programa es especialmente para mujeres que tal vez estén afrontando cambios en su vida, que tal vez estén interesadas en seguir estudiando, ya sea su GED, al colegio comunitario o la universidad o que tengan metas personales. El curso de Transiciones 1 consiste de dialogar y reflexionar en las emociones, el estrés, el liderazgo, la inteligencia emocional y más que nada es para enfocarnos en reflexionar en sus metas. En Costa 2 empezamos a reflexionar en el crecimiento personal que pasó después del curso primero y también empezamos a integrar la computadora y la tecnología ya que sabemos que es algo que abre muchas puertas a los estudiantes. Igualmente estamos enfocando en hacer un plan para llegar a sus metas a largo plazo. El programa es completamente gratis y es para mujeres de edades 16 en adelante y el programa también proporciona todos los materiales y los libros que necesitan para completar el curso. Incluso hay esta oportunidad de reembolso para transporte y cuidado de niños. Después de, después de completar estos dos cursos, tiene una oportunidad de seguir sus estudios en el programa de Vidas en Transiciones con cursos en inglés. Si es algo que le interesa, puede hablar con Margaret, la directora del programa. En el programa de Vidas en Transiciones también tiene acceso al uso de el espacio de vidas en transiciones en el Alder Hall, ese se llama, así se llama el edificio, y tiene acceso a las computadoras aquí y también a una cocina completa por si quieren cocinar algo y también unos sillones y lugares donde se pueden sentar para convivir con otros estudiantes. Hi, my name is Margaret Frimuth. I'm the director of Lives in Transition. Come on into my office. Usually, the door is open when we have students here, so that if there is an issue that you wanted to talk about um, in a little more private area, you could come in here and we could talk, or you could talk with Rinda in here. It's just a nice separate space so that students can feel safe in our programs. The Lives in Transition program is a great follow-up to Transiciones, and the program itself is college credit bearing, and it allows you additional time to really understand the process of getting an education. So everything that happens in the classes is a way of practicing the skills that will lead you into whatever career or certificate program you want to attain. And I think it's a fabulous way of students feeling safe, feeling like they're not alone, feeling like it's okay to come back to school if you've been out of school for a while, or to come to school because it's something you've always wanted to try. And we try to make our classes um, very uh, user-friendly so that you have an opportunity to see what college can do for you. I like to think that the class material is all, it practices every aspect of education that will help you be successful, but your focus is on you. So you're actually coming in as an expert. And I think that's a beautiful way of starting your college career. Um, we want to welcome you to the Lives in Transition program and your first start to coming to college. 
please contact us any way that's most comfortable for you and we hope to see you soon. Bienvenidos al programa en transiciones. Esperamos verlos pronto. Si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, no duden en contactarnos.